Okay, so I'm sitting here with Michelle McCauley, and um, one thing that we love about Michelle is her attitude. She 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 definitely is filled filled with attitude, and um, so we we were really excited about picking her up as a, as an artist at Earthump.com, and we wanted to make sure that we had time to sit down with her. And she's been so enthusiastic about uh, helping us and helping us get off the ground that we that we definitely had to make her our featured artist of the month, and um, wanted to have time to sit down and talk with her today. And so here we are. Um, Michelle, some of the questions that Greg wanted me to ask you, um, I'm not going to remember them all, I know, and I'm not a journalist, so this is going to suck, but, um, you know, what, first of all, what, where, where did you get your start? What, what brought, what got you interested in doing what you do? High school art class. Okay. Um, the first year it's required. Uh-huh. And I kind of figured out that I was pretty good at it. Okay. So I continued taking art classes throughout high school. Then I got to college. Um, one of the art instructors, professors at West Virginia State University is Paula Clendenin. Uh-huh. She's a famous female artist. She has pieces um, in the Women's Museum of Art in D.C., mm-hmm. some other places, and that really interests me. So I started taking art classes at college, too. Okay. And I continued for a while, but then I had my son, and I just didn't have time to do anything anymore. I didn't have the money to buy the supplies, the canvases, the paint. And then this past year, I've just realized that I need to do what makes me happy. I I need to define myself as something other than just an employee at my job. How how long did you take a a hiatus on this? Ten years. A ten-year hiatus. Wow, that must have been a bit of a struggle getting back into it, huh? Not really. Um, once I got like a canvas down in front of me, and I looked at it for a while, and I got the paints out, and it just started coming right back. And it's taken me a couple pieces to really get back into the different styles and things that I can do. So it, I've progressively, I feel like I've gotten better over the past couple pieces. And the two that I'm working on right now is some of the best I've done this year. But as far as attitude-wise and desire-wise, it didn't take too much to get into it. But as far as getting back the skills, that did take a little bit of time. Are you? Um, w- would you say that your 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 family and your son are you inspired by them in in your work, or how does that how does that play into being being a mother, being a parent? Have you have you brought that into your work at all? I would say yes, because I think it's important to set a good example to my son that you need to do what you're talented at and what makes you happy, no matter whether that's a paid job or a a skill or music or art or whatever it is to make you happy. Because if you make yourself happy, then that's going to help make your family happy. Uh And it's, it's, you know, it's catching, you know, just like negativity is catching, so it's happiness. And they're very supportive, and Gavin uh, actually told his art teacher not too long ago that his mommy could mix colors better than she could. <laughs> so don't know how well that went over, but um, he's very proud of me, and so is my husband. So that helps. Good. Um, I, I, you had mentioned um, you, you, you brought up a job, and I, I saw one of your pieces, and I know what you do on the side. Um you know, since we work together, and uh, there's one piece in particular I wanted to ask about. It's uh, it's the one with the phone, the the phone receiver. What's it called? Lost connection. Mm-hmm. And um, how 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 is that a, a portrayal of of what you do on a on a day to day basis, working in an office and and being on the phone all day? There are days <laughs> of talking to people whether they're corporate people, regular everyday people, whatever kind of people they are, but if you talk to people all day long, that your brain actually feels melted and fried at the end of the day. <laughs> and that kind of represents that. <laughs> you kind of just feel like you're out that flat toe and, like, your brain's just gone and you just got to kind of exit that for the day. 
Is there any particular piece that you have that you feel m more attached to than? Um, I think my seasons have changed because I've had a, cu a couple bids on that, and I had it in the gall gallery for a while, and people were interested, and I took it down and put it back in my office slash studio because um, that's the one with the tree, and it has, like, the nighttime and the sun and the seasons, and I think it just represents life and me and all the changes I've been through. And even though I've had offers on it, I just can't get rid of it. And I think that actually also inspired the uh, the tattoo that I got. So the tree of life and all the change that trees get through and people, I think they inter intertwine with each other. Okay. Um, how did you how did you come up with abstract emotion? Was it was it an artist that that you were inspired by, or I mean, I, 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 that's another question we've got. Is there is there any particular artist like growing up or in your childhood that you that you were attached to that that kind of inspired you to to be the type of artist you are today? And then what how did that branch into uh, abstract emotion? I think one of my favorite artists um, is Van Gogh because of the different textures in his paintings and the way that he blends colors or just layers colors on top of each other and he uses, you know, swirls and circles and things that it'll look just like a cityscape or a skyline, but it's not what you would see if you took a picture of it. It's just his interpretation of it. Um, abstract is just my favorite style. I like abstract, whether you're doing a portrait or a tree or, you know, just something that's a part of someone's decor. Um, I just like it because I, you, the way I can use the paints and, and shapes and everything, I, that's my favorite style. And as far as emotion goes, I think any artist, whether it's music or a painting or sketching or anything that you can consider a form of art, even writers, journalists, um, novelists, I think that emotion types into their, their current project. Whether it's anger, love, hate, sadness, it comes out in the pieces. So I just took my favorite thing and what drives, you know, artists and put it together and came up with abstract emotion. Okay. Uh, do you have any anything going right now, anything going on? Are you are you going to be doing any shows uh, anytime soon? Or I know that you've got some of your work in a gallery downtown Greenville. Um, what, when, when are you, what, what, what's in the future for Michelle McCauley? Well, the gallery um, is going to be hosting two shows this fall. Um, I don't have all the details on them yet, but they will be advertised on my website as soon as I get all the details. And they will also be advertised on earthdump.com. Um, one is going to be at the Greenville Women's Club, and the other one is going to be at a local business. Um, our gallery is sponsoring it for us. We're going to bring out pieces. You'll be able to meet the artists and be able to purchase our art there. Since I also do custom orders, um, if you're interested in a custom piece, then that's something that you can also preliminary speak with me about, and we can set that up. Um, and then I'm also, right now, the main thing I have going is I have three custom orders that I'm working on. Two of them I have started, and you can see the progress of those on my Facebook page. Um, they're both for people's homes, not office or corporate. Um, one is the girl loves cherry blossom trees, so she wanted something that was abstract but still had cherry blossoms in it and had like emotion and was would just be you know something that would make you stand and look at it. So that is the cherry blossom painting I'm doing. The other one is more of a decor piece because someone wanted something to go in their bedroom that matched their colors, blues and browns. So I had to come up with something. Um, that would match the core, but would be more subtle. So that is the other piece I'm working on that has the texture design on it, all the colors, and I'm trying to make it um, like a metallic-looking piece, like a aged copper. So you can see some of the the textures and the aging and stuff that's going on in that piece, um, which I'll be working on more this week. Okay. Um, I think to to finalize things here for this interview today, uh, we just want to uh, I speak on behalf of me and Greg. We want to thank you for for uh, you know being a part of EarthDump.com and uh, look forward to to working with you further. And uh, uh, any any closing statements? Anything you'd like to add to uh, 
to this interview before we get it up on up online? You know I like to talk. Yeah. Of course, I have right. something to say. One, I want to thank you okay. um, for the opportunity to get me and my work out there more. Um, I also think that what you guys are doing um, is awesome. There are so many people that work hard to make things from scratch for their story, clothing, furniture, um, or art, and those people do deserve recognition. They deserve an outlet to sell their products and to have something that's handmade, homemade, and to keep people from going out and just buying crap from like China and putting it in their home. So I, I really believe in what you guys are doing, and I think it's a great thing. Well, we, we appreciate you and all your support, Michelle, and uh, look forward to future interviews.